years ago, on this date, the first round of monthly child tax credit payments started going out on July 15th, 2021. Now we're getting some news that that was both a good thing and a bad thing. Now, the good thing of the child tax credit is that it reduced the child poverty. However, the con is that many economists believe that because of the monthly child tax credit, we saw a huge surge in inflation. Now, please pay attention to what I kind of have to say next, because it could explain to you why there's this big push for the monthly child tax credit. Plus, it's also pretty important to me. Now, the main purpose of the monthly child tax credits is to reduce child poverty. And there are five main reasons why child poverty is terrible to have in the United States. One, poverty in children harms their brain and other body systems. Two, poverty widens the achievement gap, whereas kids are more likely to drop out of school and lack the vision of them being something so big and successful. Three, children living in poverty are more likely to develop behavioral and health issues. In fact, children living in poverty have the highest rate of asthma anywhere. Four, children living in poverty are more likely to live in a neighborhood with and an environment of toxin, such as gangs and violence. And five, unfortunately, children living in poverty are more likely to have a negative effect on the parents. Parents with children in poverty are more likely to experience behavioral problems, agitation, and depressive moods. However, after consistently higher and higher prices, inflation has reached its lowest points in more than two years. Commodities such as pizza, gas, and eggs are starting to return back to the normal prices. Now there's this big push to bring back the monthly child tax credit through a bill called the American Family Act. Now, I'm not like your therapist or your financial advisor or your daddy. I am just your tax buddy on social media. And here's kind of my opinion of it all. If we were to, I understand both sides and I'm kind of torn between the two because I understand if we get the child tax credit, yeah, inflation is going to go back up. But without the monthly child tax credit, child poverty goes up. So I'm torn between the two. So my opinion is based personally off my personal experience. So I'm personally at the level where if the price of eggs go up $2, it's not going to affect me too much. I'm not trying to like brag or anything. I just want you guys to understand uh, where I'm coming from. But if the price of eggs going up $2 means that I can help one kid or two kids with child poverty, I am so down for it. So I'm going to support more promoting the monthly child tax credit on a personal issue. I'm not sure like how it's going to affect worldwide, but that's just my opinion. My name is Duke and I make taxes very easy to understand. Give me a follow to stay educated.